In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to block internet access for AutoCAD. This guide will be particularly handy if you're looking to prevent AutoCAD from accessing the internet for any reason, such as minimizing distractions or enhancing security. Let's dive right into the step-by-step -step process that will ensure your AutoCAD stays offline when necessary. First, we need to locate the executable file for AutoCAD on your computer. This is a simple process. Typically, you'll find the shortcut to AutoCAD right on your desktop. By right-clicking on this shortcut, you'll see an option that says Open File Location. Selecting this will take you to the precise location of the AutoCAD executable file in your system's files. Once you've located the file, the next step is straightforward. Copy the file address from the address bar at the top of your file explorer. This address is a path to the executable file that we will need shortly, so make sure you copy it accurately. Next, it's time to head over to your Windows firewall, which will allow us to control the internet access for AutoCAD. Open your firewall settings and navigate to Advanced Settings, which will give you more options. What we are interested in are the inbound rules. Click to open, then proceed to create a new rule. You'll select Program as the type of rule you want to create, and then paste the program path, the address you copied earlier, into the provided field. You should make sure you've selected the actual AutoCAD executable file before proceeding. After selecting the file, you need to select the option to block the connection. This is crucial as it's what prevents AutoCAD from accessing the internet. Following this, you'll see options to specify where this rule will apply, whether on domain, private or public networks. For thoroughness, check all three options. This ensures that AutoCAD is always blocked, regardless of the network type you are connected to. When you've done this, name your new rule AutoCAD or something similar that you'll easily remember. This helps in identifying the rule later if you ever need to change or delete it. Now, you're almost done. You'll want to repeat this entire process once more, but this time for outbound rules. Essentially, you're doing the exact same thing. Create a new rule, select the program, paste the path, block the connection, check all network types, and give it an easy-to-remember name. And there you have it. You've now successfully blocked AutoCAD from accessing the internet, both inbound and outbound, using Windows Firewall. This means you've completed the setup to ensure your AutoCAD remains offline whenever you're using your computer. Following these steps ensures that your work continues uninterrupted and secure. Thanks for watching, and be sure to check out more of our guides for helpful tech tips.